we're gonna try this again y'all I hope it works Chelsea get on in there anyway I think we're live yeah there comes one person Chelsea make a comment maybe it'll show me that you're here hey Chelsea But I don't know how to do split screen with her here. Let's see if this will do it. Guest request. Allow your viewers to join you as a guest in your... Okay. Allow your viewers to request to join you as a guest in your podcast. Okay, Chelsea, there's a little button at the bottom of my screen and wants to be on your video. Okay, Lemo, there we got it. And we get right there. Approve. Look at us. We're adding Chelsea right now. Okay, Chelsea, get on in here. I think we got it. We just have to punch buttons and keep punching buttons. I'm not afraid. I am not afraid. It's, it says it's adding you, Chelsea. You may have to approve something. I don't know why it's keep saying it's adding you. You may have to approve something. I don't know. We tried. We tried. I don't know why it won't. No answer. It said there was no answer. Okay. This is this is frustrating. I'm going to approve Chelsea one more time. Oh. There she is. There she is. <laughs> Finally. Okay, you okay, may have you to have turn the volume down. down. Okay. Are you or you have might have to cuz I'm getting I'm feedback. Getting feedback. Have you got a have you headset? Got a headset? Yep, I sure do. You may you have, may to, have to plug it in. Y'all can go on a trip with me to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see you. Well, good to see well, you good too. Good to see you too. You get the house tour while I walk to get my headset. Well, we can just well, see, we your, can lovely just see your lovely face. <laughs> All right. Does that help? I think so. Awesome. Great. Yeah, we, we're not getting any feedback now. This is good. I'm trying to get my can't get myself centered in here for some reason in the picture. Okay. So tell me about yourself, Chelsea. How old are you? Well, no, that's I... not <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you my age if you'll tell me yours. Well, you just had a birthday, so we all know. <laughs> <laughs> Happy belated. Um, I am 29, so I'll be 30 in April and um, I'm expecting our fourth baby. So we have three boys and we're getting a little girl. So we're excited. Oh, that is good yeah. to be fun. Yes. And, and where in the world are you? I'm near Richmond, Virginia. So not, oh, too, not far. too far. You know, yeah. about five, six 
hours from me. Yeah. And uh, how long have you been a fly baby? Well, um, a little over two years. So I started out getting the emails and I would read them here or there, but I didn't read them all the time. And then whenever my second child started homeschooling right before, I thought to myself, you know, I hate that one thing is always suffering, whether it's the home or the kids or my husband. Um, and I thought, you know, I know that I have the tools that I need, um, which is Fly Lady, <laughs> um, to help me. And I just need to just jump right in and uh, started reading the emails and just totally changed, not just, you know, the way that my house looked. That was a great byproduct, but also just the way I thought about things, um, I've always valued being a homemaker, um, so it just really brought just a lot of joy and clarity to to what I'm doing, and, you know, being a perfectionist is something that I try not to do, um, but I used to think, you know, if I, if I couldn't do it all perfectly, it was, it was just not worth it, and now I see that, um, you know, better than before is, is still a, a great thing. <laughs> oh, it really is. It, yes. It is just it gets us started because it doesn't oh, have yeah. to be perfect. It just has to right. be, something has to be done toward making dinner or, or, you know, cleaning your bathroom, whatever it is, something has to be done. So, yeah. um, let's see. Do you know about our homeschooling stuff that we do with Tammy? Oh yeah. I get Tammy's emails. Um, and okay. I love them. So yeah, I read them all the time. Um, you I'm, She's been homeschooling over 20 years, so. Oh, yeah. I need I need all the veteran homeschool help I can get. <laughs> and we used to do homeschool conference. We've done Richmond before, which has a great Oh, conference. wow. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Um, let's see. And how old are your children? Um, they're three, six, and nine. So, so you're homeschooling the two older ones? Yep, the two older ones. And I have a, a toddler, the three-year-old, so he just kind of hangs in there and sits at the he table with us when he can. To, yeah, that's, yep. that's, that's the way Tammy <laughs> always did it. She had them all around the table if they were in the high chair playing with toys, you know? Yep, exactly. Uh, so how, this is a, a, an awkward question, but how messy was your house? Because when people ask me that question, Robert takes the fifth. <laughs> well, um, my house was never in total disarray, um, but it, it definitely, like my laundry, um, it would pile up and I would just, I wouldn't do the laundry until all the laundry baskets were full. Cause then I remembered, oh, I don't have anywhere to put my clothes. So I'm going to do laundry now. Or my sink would always be full of dishes until the, the dishes were on the countertop. And then I would think, oh, this is getting kind of gross. I need to do the dishes. Um, so just you know, it took a while. It wasn't overnight where everything was, you know, 100%. Um, even now, it's not 100%. But I do all the routines, you know, morning, before bed, all of those. And it really does help. And they're super quick. And um, it's just been amazing, like, even just seeing the growth in myself of, like, oh, wow, my sink is clean. Like, just throughout the day looking at it, it just reminds me that, you know, the diligence and the time of just doing it a little bit at a time, it just adds up. And um, so I've seen, I've definitely seen progress and it's just, it's so nice because I do homeschool and we have other things in our home. We have a church group that meets in our home once a week and stuff like that. So it's nice just to know that those things are taken care of and I don't have to stress about them anymore. I have a funny story to tell you about, um, a, a lady I met at, at a, a talk I was giving and it was before my grandchildren were homeschooled and for some reason it came up that that she was having a church group come to her house and her sink was full of dirty dishes so she put them all in the washing machine oh, not wow. the dishwasher <laughs> she just hit them in the washing machine this is a woman telling me this herself and it was just so funny because the the pastor's wife was helping her clean up and she went to go throw the dirty dish rags in the washing machine and found all the dishes. So anytime oh my you try gosh. to like that, you're gonna, it's, it's going to come up and bite you again. So Yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's funny. Really, 
it was really sad for her, but she she's she could laugh about it, and that's the main thing being able to laugh at our silliness is is important mm -hmm. yes uh, so <laughs> tell uh did you have a lot of clutter with four three kids and one on the way there's a lot well of there was a lot of toys, so you know i I kind of made it a mission to um take a little bit at a time and organize it. I do a lot of things in like bins and I'll put them up in the closet and they're not allowed to just get out everything they want at one time. So, um, you know, I just, you know, I'll take out the Legos or I take out whatever else they want, but then when they're done, we, they know, you know, we put it away. And so that way, you know, there's always a little mess. I've got three boys, but they all, they know they've come to expect that they put it up when they're done and then they can get whatever else they want. I don't mind. Um, so yeah, it's just been like, you know, I've been trying to create routines with them too. And just habits of, you know, this is what we do when we wake up, or this is what we do when we pull out our mess. Um, and it's helped a lot just because, um, I am adding another little one to the family in May. So it's nice to have like some sort of structure and, um, and control in that area it's never perfect and you know they don't they don't fit in a box and and do things perfectly but you know they can learn a lot and I'm proud of them <laughs> so. well you should be because you're training them up the way they should go and they're this this habit of putting things away when they get things out will be wonderful in the future so I'm learning that myself too <laughs> it is it is a wonderful way to live is if you get it out, you put it away. And sometimes you have to play a little game and run through the house and do a reverse scavenger hunt, just putting things where they belong. And set your time right. for two minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes, it doesn't matter. You can still get a lot of things accomplished in that little bit of time. Now, yep. take us on a little tour. I've seen a picture of your okay. laundry room. So, yeah, I'll show you my laundry room. I'm real close to it. Well, I'm standing in my room right now, which I wasn't actually planning on showing you because just because, um, but that's where I got my headset. So I'll show you my shiny sink of my bedroom, which is my bed. That's lovely. It's made, so that's good. And um, I used to not make my bed um, just because I thought, well, nobody goes in my room. But now when I walk in my room, I just, it's so pretty. And um, I got a new bedspread after I started doing Fly Lady because I was like, this is encouraging me to, you know, just one little beautiful thing in the room that means something to me encourages me to just keep the rest of it clean and put the stuff away. So um, I love that. And um, my laundry room is right here around the corner, which is very convenient. When we bought this house, my old house had a laundry room in the basement like yours. And uh -huh. um, it was a challenge to have to, I would just throw the, the clothes down the stairs every morning and they would be all over the stairs and it was a mess. Um, <laughs> and dangerous. Yes, I did fall one time, and I said, never again am I doing this. Um, well, let and me so, tell you my little secret. Okay. I use one of, uh, one of our uh, declutter kits slash hampers, and I, when it gets full, I tie the tops together, these two handles together, and uh -huh. I roll it down the steps, and it stays all in the bag. <laughs> That's a lot smarter than what I was doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, when we got this house, I said it would be really nice to have a laundry room upstairs. So all of our bedrooms are upstairs, our laundry's upstairs. I can just, I just drag my hamper down the hall every morning and I just toss it in the laundry first thing. So here is, let me switch my camera. Our little laundry room. Oh, how it's, adorable. It's, it's a closet. It's not a room, as you can tell. Um, my husband took the doors off for me because I was tired of hiding my messes. And so he, he took the doors off, so I have no excuse. And um, we have front loaders, so we put a little counter there. And as you can see, I don't have a ton of room on the counter, um, but it's enough room for one load of dry clothes to go up there. So I stand there and I put on my timer and I try to fold them on. Usually it's less than five minutes at the most. Um, and right. yeah, so I can fold them all and then put them away um, one at a time. I can't fit two or three loads on top of that. So, you know, it helps me to remember to, you know, do our, my one load a day. And that's enough for me. Um, whenever I do wash my sheets, I do two loads on Mondays because I have the sheets and I strip my bed. Um, and then I have these little bins. I need to rewrite my chalk. 
Um, but they're from my older boys, Sam and Will. And so I put their clothes in there and before they go to bed as part of their routine, they have to put their little clothes up because uh, they can. So <laughs> I'm like, I need to give you more jobs around the house. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then, you know, a couple little pretty things are for me. Nobody else really sees it, but it, it like it's just like my bed. It makes me happy and it encourages me to, to keep it clean and keep going with it. Well, that's just adorable. So what other room Thank do you, you want to show us? Oh, goodness. Um, I can show you probably anything, but um, <laughs> not. it's not perfect, like I said. Um, but I do try on Fridays. We have family night every Friday night at my parents' house. Um, and so I try on Fridays to have things, you know, relatively straight so that we can enjoy the weekend and not spend Saturday just cleaning. Um, oh, we don't want to do that. That's, oh, lovely kitchen. Here's our kitchen. Yeah, we... Um, we, our kitchen was pretty outdated and we slapped some paint on the cabinets and you can see my counter's pretty clean. It's shiny. It's a black counter, so you'll know if it's dirty. <laughs> um, and my shiny sink, of course. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So it's, it's coming along. This was our, our project last year was painting our kitchen and we did the backsplash ourselves. Um, so, you know, just little things, you know, it, it makes a huge difference to us. And being that I am home during the day, I stay home with the boys and, and homeschool. It's nice having a space that, you know, is clean and inviting and just makes me smile, um, just a little at a time. So we've been fixing it up just a little at a time, which is, which is fun. How about so. your, how about your menu planning? Oh yeah, I can show you that. Um, so I had just started this month actually doing the post-it note thing that you showed us. Oh, yeah. That, um, so here's my planner. I use just a little planner. Um, I just started actually using my planner instead of buying it to be pretty. And I use the Fly Lady calendar on my fridge. Okay. So the fridge calendar, um, my kids love it because they don't ask me anymore five million times what are we doing today? What are we doing tomorrow? <laughs> so today we have fly lady video and we're going to Mimi's house tonight for family night. Um, so they know that that's what we're doing. And so I started the post-it note um, menu plan um, to save money. You know, it's the first of the year. I'm trying to save as much as possible. Um, I've been writing down just what we've had already um, instead of planning ahead. I do plan ahead, but um, these are the things we've already had. And so my goal this month was actually to fill it up um, just with some different meals. And then next month, I'm going to start picking them off and just sticking them one week at a time on the calendar. And um, then I'll move them down, you know, say three weeks at a time. And then that way I won't have to plan that week's meals. Um, so very similar, or if not the same as what you've kind of talked to us about. But I do try to cook at home you know, at least probably four or five nights a week. One night we go to my mom's, so that helps. <laughs> that gives you a little break. Yeah. yeah, it gives me a little break. And we, we might go out one night a week, you know, depending, so. Do, do you take time for you? I do now. <laughs> um, I don't think I really did much before just because I was, I felt like I was always juggling like five million hats or five million balls, I guess you could say, um, wearing too many hats. Um, yeah. yeah. So now it's like you would think that, uh, like looking at the routines and how many things you would have to do in a day, you would think that it would take so much time. But for me, it's just little bits here and, here and there, and it really sets me up to be able to do a good job um, and have things done so that I have a lot more extra time for myself. So I get my routine done in the morning before the boys do school. Then we do school, and then we don't have anything um, after, say, like 4.30. We're free. I, I make sure that we're 100% done. So that way in the evening when Dad gets home, we can spend time with him. Or if I want, you know, to spend a little time, you know, taking a bubble bath, like I have time to do that now. <laughs> of course, Dad has to watch the kids, but... That's okay. I, I do try. I do try to make some time for myself, you know. Uh, do you have a basic weekly plan to, to your week? Do you utilize that part of Fly Lady? 
I do. Yes. Um, the only thing that I switch around is sometimes I do my errands on Mondays as well as my weekly home blessing instead of Thursdays. Um, just because it's easier for me to start my menu that week and go to the grocery store and have everything fresh for the week. Um, but sometimes I do it on Thursdays. Um, but Mondays I do our weekly home blessing, um, which works out really well because my husband is gone Monday nights um, for a church thing. And so I, whatever I don't get done during the day, I, I just kind of do a little bit at night. And the kids have movie night on Monday nights with popcorn and snacks, and I do some of my own stuff. Um, and then well, that's a good Tuesday, idea. yeah, Tuesday, free day, I, I still do my basic routines, you know. Um, Wednesday, what is Wednesday? Plan. And procrastination day. And anti-procrastination, yeah. So I pay my bills on Wednesdays, check, you know, continue to check my calendar and just try to think. Uh, your reminders always help me think, oh, I'm sure there's something I'm procrastinating about and try to get something done. And, um, and then Thursdays, like I said, usually errands. And then Fridays, we always spend with our family. Um, I know Fly Lady says it's date night. Um, so for me, it's it's date night and family night because <laughs> we spend time together all as a family, so it's nice. Um, so it's basically mm -hmm. the same as as what you do, probably. Do you get to take a nap every once in a while, like on Sunday afternoon? Yes, Sunday afternoon is the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I love Sunday afternoon naps are my favorite thing in the world. Every once in a while, I get to take them during the week. Um, since I am pregnant, you know, I get tired. And so as long as we've gotten our stuff done, my older boys can, they'll be fine for like, you know, 45 minutes. And I'll just sometimes lay down when the toddler lays down for a little while. But um, I, I get to well, every once in a while. <laughs> I would every new, day if I could. When the new baby gets here, you're going to need to to rest as much as you can when the oh, others yeah. are thing. Yeah, so you can put the kids with a movie and, and when the baby, if you're up many times during the night, you're yeah. going to need to take care of yourself. So yeah. what about, what's the day you do your doctor's appointments and different things like that? Um, usually they're on Thursdays, um, which I'm out anyway, so I can usually plan uh, or piggyback things on each other. I'll get gas. I always get gas when I go to the grocery store because the gas station's right beside the grocery store. So I try to piggyback as many things as possible so I'm not running out every day. Um, I can just, you know, focus on home the days I'm home, and then when I'm out, I'm out, and I can do the things I need to do. So that seems well, to help. The more you stay out of the store, the more money you can save. <laughs> yes. I have like been I, intentionally yeah. not going to very specific stores. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um, do you have any um, anything you would like to say to the fly babies who are struggling a little bit? Um, I would just say not to give up and not to see everything as just a to-do list that you have to check off because ultimately, like, we can't do it all, and we have to realize that, you know, it's okay if every single thing doesn't get done. Um, one of my favorite things that, that you say is that housework done imperfectly still blesses the family, and that means a lot to me because I am imperfect, and I acknowledge that, and I know that sometimes, you know, my best might just be, you know, doing my carpet sweep on my rugs, not actually vacuuming my hardwood floors. Um, but at least, you know, I know I'm getting something done, and it's better than it was. Um, and just to be really, um, really persistent if it's something that means something to you. Um, I thought it was really, really funny. Um, I was telling Liz this, um, your Liz, um, that I love you so much because I feel like we're like similar, similar souls. Um, and it's funny because my word for the year was actually um, discipline as well. Um, Self-discipline is what I called it, but same thing. Um, yeah, same so thing. it was so funny to me because I was thinking about it and I was looking at it and thinking, okay, you know, I need to be more self-disciplined. Um, but then another word that came to my mind was diligence and how I needed to be diligent with my time. And they actually work, work together because... Um, you know, being diligent with your routines means that you're 
actually putting forth the effort to make it something that you're doing all the time. And um, that helps you become a more disciplined person. Um, so I've been trying to focus on those things, and it's just been really cool that that you kind of were in the same mentality because I keep hearing these little encouraging tidbits from you, and I'm like, that's exactly what I needed because that's what I was looking for anyways. Well, um, where are the children? They, have you got them locked away someplace? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I might have bribed them with candy if they were good during my uh, Facebook Live, but they're in our basement. We have a, a uh, finished basement. It has, like, a playroom and, like, a – a lounge area and stuff and so they're hanging out in the basement for for the video <laughs> they're they're good boys um but you know they are different ages and they can pick at each other so I was like I know you can be good <laughs> and they were like okay. yeah we'll try our best so they're good we'll they're let, hanging let out you get, let you get back to them I'm really proud of you thanks for wanting to do this it was just really oh my sweet goodness share your your journey with other fly babies who who may be struggling with making their bed or shining their sink and how long did it take you to shine your sink well i started that right away um you did it right away yeah that was the first oh. thing and then making my bed and, and wearing tennis shoes um which i kind of have back issues sometimes anyways so it was good for me to have that and um it was just a motivating factor to keep going. And, you know, everything wasn't spick and span overnight, but over time I just, you know, once I felt like, okay, I've got that thing down, you know, and that's kind of a part of who I am, like waking up and dragging my laundry basket to the laundry every morning. It's just what I do now. Um, so then I was able to pick up more and more habits, and now it just feels like autopilot almost. I'm, you know, go through the motions and get stuff done. So it's great. <laughs> It's muscle memory. You just do it. It is. And you don't yeah. even think about it. You just do it. You make your bed. You just, you don't even have to think about it because it right. becomes so automatic and your house practically cleans itself. It really does. Yep. And and our house our this house is bigger than our last house. So it is um I do have the basement and then the two the main level and then the upstairs. So, you know, when we first moved in, I was like, how am I going to keep it all clean? But the routines and the, ha and the habits that you get into it is really what helps. Um, because if you just trash the place every day, you can't expect to get it all done in one day. Um, but if you're constantly on top of it doing little things to help yourself throughout the day, then it doesn't matter if your house is, you know, 500 square feet or 5,000 square feet. It, it's all the same, really. It really is. And I, I'm so proud of you. And Thank you for being with us today. And Thank I you so much. You know, everything you've, you've uh, showed the ladies that can be done. And I just hope we, we can do this again. And you can introduce, introduce us to the children the next time if you want to. Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Marla. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.